Good morning. This is Cool Quadcopters here, and I'm just having a little demonstration of the MJX X600 hexacopter. I've had it for about two months now, and I've done probably more than 50 flights. I put it into headless mode today to show you how easy it, it makes, it's particularly coming back to you quickly if you need it. I have found that I've gone into the distance and you go f forward to see what way around you are to come back and there's, there is a delay of you it could be moving forward and you can't really see it so then I often try right but if you've got headless mode you pull the stick back and it'll come back to you bang and especially if you can't see what way the props are on this hexacopter they're all black I like the way you can charge it up straight into the USB which is much simpler than, than using a LiPo charger. I've screwed the little camera on and it connects by Wi-Fi to my phone with a program called MJX. So I'm looking for the Wi-Fi here. <coughs> there it is. So it's connected. Let's go back to the camera you see there we are connected it is quite a good picture actually oh, let's stop moving there maybe connecting it's a bit jerky but it is a good still picture so you can take a video and then get some stills off it i don't know that i really want to fly with it much but it, you can at least you can see what way you're, you are round if you're in the distance and so you could obviously want to be coming back towards the house uh, just turn it to look at the house so it can help you there so let's have a, a fly with it and I'll show you what what the headless mode's doing They're a bit disconcerting is the lights are flashing all the time that, that indicates it's in headless mode uh, I turn it to its side and then bring it back to me, it comes straight back. See, we're just pulling the, whereas normally you'd have to straighten it up. With the lights from below, I can see what way around it is, but if it's in the distance, there is a, a delay there of where you could lose it. Um, I've actually done it way up there, it went off. I needed to bring it back quickly. I went forward and it went forward quickly. And uh, it lost, lost Uh, transmitter power and it, it came down but I drove off and got it so here we can see um, the way I've got the camera angled here at my um, iPhone and the MJX so say it's over there I just want to bring it let's go up a bit I want to bring it back to me now right so it comes straight back Oh, the battery's dying. That's it, the battery's gone. Let's check the lights on it to see how they're flashing. So I know the next time. So they flash slower. So when you've got it in headless mode, they flash quicker than that. Which is important to know when the battery's running down. It would be nice to see that on the screen. But this is a $70, $80 uh, quad and good value for the money. I recommend it. That's my report. Um, oh, we yeah, have the battery life. It's very good. I've got three batteries for it. I've bought one slightly bigger, 700 milliamp LiPos. Uh, I like this. Um, way of charging it, I just go into the kitchen, plug it in the USB cable and it's charging. Don't need to take the, the battery out. It's quite tough. I have replaced one of the motors. Got to be careful in advanced mode on the, the remote, which is this down here. 
you put it in advance, as soon as you go more than 75% in any direction, it will do a flip. So if you're not near the ground, uh, that's okay. But if you're near the ground and you do a flip unintentionally, you can, you can flip it straight onto its back and it can crash quite hard. So that's beginners. That's what I have it in intermediate. It's changing the uh, earlier one and rudder speed. I've got it in stick mode too, so I've got um, accelerator here. Yeah, very good. This is uh, Cool Drones, signing out.